Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we're going to be making the uh, world's easiest firecracker cannon. And this cannon um, can shoot whatever you want, but in today's video, I'm going to show you my version, which will be able to shoot these airsoft BBs. So for this video you will need um, used bullet casings, airsoft BBs, some alligator clips, a tube from a ballpoint pen. And lastly the firecrackers and these are of course the ones I got from the UK, uh, France to be specific. Um, and of course that was just a joke if you've seen my last video USA versus France firecrackers. It went a little viral and I accidentally slipped up and said that these are from France in the UK and of course I meant that they were from France, like Europe, not UK. I know there's a difference. Like I'm from Canada, not the Canada in the US kind of thing. So uh, I apologize for that. I actually knew that. Um, I did take geography in grade two, but uh, I just said it wrong. So I apologize for that. So the first step of course is to choose the correct bullet casing. Um, now I have a whole bunch, these are from a gun range near my house. I'm from Canada. So if you're in the States, you can probably just find these like on the sidewalk or something. Um, so anyway, um, I don't have very many, but we're going to be using <laughs> a uh, 223 Remington. Um, the reason for that is that the end of the, um, I'm not sure what to call this, like the neck of the cartridge fits perfectly tight seal in this end of the pen. And like I said earlier, we're going to be using the 6mm, uh, I believe they're 0.2 gram airsoft BBs. And if you didn't already know this from my previous videos, they fit perfectly in the barrel, or uh, like the tube of a pen. And the 223 Remington, if you converted that to millimeters or whatever, it is less than 6 because it fits perfectly like that. So if you're using airsoft BBs, I recommend using a 223 size or modifying something bigger. Like, I th think this is a 308, 30-06, something like that. Um, but we're going to be using a 223 in this video. So to make your firecracker cannon, the first and only difficult step is to take your bullet and, of course, uh, make sure it's expended and take a little drill slightly bigger than the size of the fuse but the smaller the better because then it'll cause when the explosion happens for most of the pressure to stay contained whereas a big hole you could lose quite a bit of pressure so i'm going to drill probably like a one eighth or smaller hole right where the primer and the shell used to be all right so for the assembly portion um really easy what we're going to do is just put the pen uh, tube on top of the bullet casing and then I'm going to use the alligator clip to go over top like that and then you can basically put it that way if you want straight I guess and uh, this alligator clip is kind of flimsy but you get the idea like if you want to shoot up into the air you can just put the fins out like that and you got yourself a nice little cannon and so now let's go ahead and load it up and get to some shooting. So the hardest part is probably trying to load the firecracker in because you drilled a pretty small hole, so getting the fuse to fit in nicely. It's easy from this side, of course, but from this side, as you can imagine, it's pretty tough. And the big firecracker doesn't even fit inside. Oh, it just fits inside of the 223. Of course, that's the wrong way. But uh, it takes some finicking. I may not be able to do it on camera here, but Basically keep going back and forth, maybe use some tweezers or something until the fuse comes out that little hole. So I tried for about 10 minutes and still couldn't get it. So what we're going to try is using one of the small ones with a really small fuse, which also go in really easily. And then I ripped a fuse out of another firecracker, but you can just buy a fuse if you don't feel like wasting a firecracker. Uh, I'm probably going to trim it up a little bit too, but then I'm just going to shove it in there and chances are that fuse will light the fuse in the inside on fire. And uh, you got yourself a little cannon. Okay, so here's the testing. I actually managed to 
thread the firecracker all the way through. Then of course I just put a six millimeter BB in the barrel, right there. Just so you believe me, it's not a piece of metal or something if it actually works really well. And here we go with the testing. Lighting in three, two, one. Run! All right, so we just did our shooting test and it went very successful. Um, it went through both sides of the can. There's the entrance, there's the exit. Um, I'm sure it could have gone through a lot more. Um, it definitely would have pierced it even if it was carbonated and full and everything. Uh, it was pretty powerful. The only thing that happened was that the cartridge separated from the tube. Um, this actually went flying backwards. So when building it, maybe just use a little bit of electrical or duct tape right there. And of course, this part fell over because I just had it set up like a tripod. If you wanted it to not fall over, um, maybe just like nail this into a piece of wood or something, make it a little sturdier. But I'm just trying to keep it simple if you want to keep it simple. Now, to reload it, the only key is that when your firecracker explodes, the back half of it, as this kind of splits in half, is still stuck in there. And it's really hard to get out. So just a little trick is to use anything pokey. I have a mouse trap thing, doesn't matter though. Um, so just put it in the back half of it and push. And uh, it's in the top there. So with a bit of work, it'll be boring for me to show you on camera, but just keep poking it. I think something a little straighter, this has a bend in it, would work better. But yeah, you have to get the old cartridge out before you can put a new one in, and then reload, and you are ready to go. So thank you for watching the world's easiest firecracker cannon. I have another firecracker cannon on my channel, go check that video out. Um, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.